Spaghetti-O, Giggle Water, and Quilt. You say? No Boulder Dash or Baloney here. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentlemen. No matter how you take your hooch, we've got something ice cold and on tap. Now, serving it to you straight and unfiltered, here are Craig, Scott, and Dan. Oh, yeah. Always straight, always unfiltered. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he's back. I'm yes, back. He's back. Oh, Try well. my triumphant comeback. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> Jesus. Mm, did you lose any weight? No, Dan had the flu. I know. I think I did actually. Yeah, yeah I did. Nice. Yeah, and I, I'm. I got a trip to Vegas coming up too, so it's just in time. Oh, perfect. Yeah. You're looking svelte. I know. I yeah. told my buddy, I was like, I'll lose the weight. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I didn't know I was going to get sick and lose it, but <laughs> hey, that's even easier. It really you is. You have to go to the gym or nothing. I know. I was telling him. You just shit yourself and eat crackers and soup for two days. <laughs> perfect. That's what I did. Yeah. And Jello. Yeah, Jello. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then your shit starts coming out green. You're like, I, I better back off there. Yeah, green. that's a green apple splatter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the green apple splatter. Oh man! Hey everybody, welcome into the unfiltered <laughs> gentleman. As I lose my voice, I was screaming a lot Saturday. Like not screaming, I went out to a bar with some people. In fact, with Elvia and uh, her husband, and it was so loud. But we were trying to talk. So by set, when I got home Saturday, I was talking like this. Oh, <laughs> so man. my voice keeps cracking. We'll see how that works. Uh, anyways, welcome in everybody, the unfiltered gentleman. Thanks for listening. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you haven't figured it out by now, I am Greg. That is Scott. What's up, guys? Oh, Ooh, it's beer o'clock. A little music, yes. Yeah. A little music there. And uh, feeling and looking better than ever. That's Dan. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Faced Greg. death in the face and kicked his ass. Mm-hmm. I did. Yes, he did. He said, fuck you, death. That's right. Not yet. Yeah. I ain't ready right now. Was no. death Norm MacDonald or Adam Carolla? <laughs> Depends which season we were in. I know it's true. Mm-hmm. God damn, you're right. When did Adam Carolla do the voice? Was that the early one, or is that the no, Norm was first? Okay, and then Carolla took over. If I'm not, oh, mistaken. you're right. Yeah, God damn. I think that's how it went. Uh, family Guy, everybody. <laughs> anyway, <Sorry>. we've got <laughs> a lot of beer to talk about. We got a little sports news to talk about. We have a new segment from the 21st Amendment Girls, and uh, Dan's got a movie. We got news. She we got a lot of stuff to do today. Holy shit! Yeah, I know. I was looking at that. Wow, that's I was a, like ooh, that's a loaded rundown. That in one Correct, yeah. you're welcome. That is a packed ass. So we will get right into it. Uh, Burp word of the week: proprietor. Ah. Oh man, proprietor. Proprietor, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. Why okay, it's proprietor. Proprietor. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can do it on my own. Uh-huh. <laughs> I want to go to Hawaii. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Let's get right into it. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for beer of the week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend. And I say, I think I'll have myself a beer. Oh, we're having ourselves quite the beer. Mm. Agreed. This is Firestone Walker's Leo versus Ursus. Uh-huh. The Lion versus the Bear for Tim. IPA. The reason our Burp Board of the Week is Proprietor is because, as we all know, they got rid of the Proprietor series, the Opal, the Wookie Jack, the Double Jack. Yeah. This is what they're replacing it with. No, oh, see? Oh. Yeah. I told you, man. I told you. Yes. Don't worry. So, yeah. Everything will be okay. It's like that Bob Marley song. Yeah, don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this is their, their first release in that Leo versus Ursus lineup. It's the two owners. One represents the bear, one the lion. There. Uh, Thank you. That was my question I was going to ask on air. Ursus? You well, know, I was going to ask, uh, why are they fighting? Oh. Somebody had asked me while we were drinking one time, and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Never thought about that. They were saying, you know, through great struggle comes great uh, whatever product. Beer. Beer, yeah. Oh, through, okay. Through good comp- so I guess they, you know, they fight a lot, but they come out with good product in the end. So okay. I guess that's what it represents. Um, this is this is pretty effing good and pretty easy to drink. It is. Uh, poured with a nice little, uh, about an inch and a half of, of head. And yeah, and it stays there, too. It it's does. Like it lasts. For, yours is still sitting on top That's there. what I'm, I'm that's thinking. Wow, I'm just watching it right now. I'm like, dang, I could, that's, I'm not going to watch it all day, obviously. Yeah. I'm going to drink it right now. It's going to last another eight seconds or so. <laughs> <laughs> but it has been chilling there a little bit, man. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice fruity tropical uh, smell to it, I think. Um, they say it's got mango, blueberry, raspberry, lime zest, and lychee in there. Uh, I really get the mango. I get that tropical mango. I also get a little of the berry. Uh, I couldn't quite tell you what berry it was until I read their description. I was like, ah, blueberry it is. Mm-hmm. So uh, definitely a lot of blueberry, a lot of mango, I think. Of course, 
This is a uh, West Coast IPA. So it's hoppy. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is so good. And but it, uh, do we know why it is a lion and a bear, though, specifically? Um, yeah, each one, you know, Adam Firestone and David Walker. I can't remember which one is which, but one of them is a lion, one of them is a bear. And is they just pick the animal, or like I thought maybe like the bear was like for California or something, and like. Well, yeah, he's from California, and the other one's from England. That could be part of it. Oh, well, that explains. I think yeah. like he's a little like Celtic, I guess. Yeah. The lion. Yeah. So uh, someone who knows way more than us is going to write in, be like, "You Probably idiots!" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I think it was like Sorry. he was out in the wilderness one time, and he was getting attacked by a lion, and the bear came and saved his life. <laughs> And sounds anyways. good. Sounds like a Disney movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go with that. Was, oh, it, yeah. did he, was best, it Mowgli? Mowgli thing made of beer? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was, yeah. Trust something, yeah. The beer necessities? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a new song we oh, got to write. There you go. <laughs> oh, the simple beer necessities. <laughs> That'd be good for like talking about the homebrew. Oh. oh, oh right. Write this down, somebody. Yeah, That's take right. a note. Where's uh, the secretary? Exactly. <laughs> Marty, write it down. <laughs> Marty, <laughs> get this. The take dog, it dog needs to write it down. He's sleeping. He's like, fuck off. You're not, you're not going to share. No, nope. He's sleeping like the rest of our fans. Yeah. <laughs> Five minutes into the show, they're out. Yeah. Oh, they're describing beer again. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> anyway, Leo versus Ursus for Tim. It's got a 91 on BA. The bros have not rated it yet. Uh, I guess that's that's probably a pretty fair score, 91. Mm. I think this is right on par. So uh, I hope you all enjoy it. I'm enjoying it. This is, this is pretty bad. Oh, woo. Dan coming in a little strong. Bit. Yeah, a little not bit. Bad, not bad. Not, not bad. bad. Wipe your shirt there. A little bit. Yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> Need a napkin? Dude. <laughs> uh, so anyways, have, it, have, a, have a look-see. See if you can find it. It's uh, not super easy to come across. Uh, when I saw it, I was like, oh, shit. It was at Costco of all places. Oh, wow. Like Costco has some good oh, beers wow. sometimes. Look at that. So, uh, right had, on. Had to grab it. All right. Let's, uh, let's talk about other things. Don't forget, you guys. Coasters, we got lots of coasters to oh. give away. You got to all you got to do is uh, give us a little something we can talk about on the show. Yeah, and free swag coming hey, at you. Participate. That's yeah. All you got to do. Tales from Uber or beer review or proprietor. Oh, oh. Uh-huh. Wow. Larry, Larry Bird just knocked down a three. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he walked in like, how? <laughs> who's going to lose to me in this competition? Right. Yeah, he fucked around, got triple double. <laughs> he did. Yeah. So, uh, all right, let's do a little crotch talk. Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. Uh, not a real grievance. Mm. Uh, just a couple things I wanted to mention. First of <laughs> all, I myself will be in Mammoth this coming weekend. Oh, da- right da- on. Da- da- da. I am so effing excited. Yes, I'll be skiing, but most importantly... Drinking. Drinking. Mammoth Drink. Brew Co. Skiing, drink. Oh, drink. God. My effing favorite. Love me some Mammoth. So I'll definitely be bringing some back. All right. We will be sampling some Mammoth in the coming weeks because I can't not bring back... A whole box. That's why I always bring back like a whole case of beer. It's awesome and retarded. <laughs> Pretty much like all your trips. Bring it back. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I, I kind of do bring back a lot of beer from all my trips. That's a good thing. Hey. Yeah. That's why I'm excited you're going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, all right, more beer. Yeah, with beer. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I go somewhere, you must be so happy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. He's taking another trip. Fuck yeah. We'll be getting drunk. <laughs> Are you yeah. driving or flying? <laughs> flying? Ah. Uh. Yeah, the on the on air joy is, is for real, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We're Dan's very excited. happy. Yeah. Um, I, so this I don't know if this is a grievance but I had to share this this happened just today when I was uh, taking the dog out for a piss walk mm. so uh, we we have him trained up pretty well and one of the things we do to, to kind of keep him in line and to keep him from running away is every beat door him. yeah beat him yeah that's I mean that, is that a question Oop. every door he goes through he has to sit before he goes through and we have to release him we have to say free and then he can go through the door uh, and that's partly so he just doesn't run away because when we first got him, he just fucking bolted one time. <laughs> like, no! He was at my girlfriend's work. Um, so we do that. And and so our hallway here has like those fire doors. Like every so many apartments, you got to open up a door even though you're just going down the hallway. Yes. And we were going down and we were opening up one door and he sat down and I looked down at him and he's got to look up at me and then I release him. And as that was happening, a guy was walking out of his apartment and he looked over at us and the dog kind of looked over at him and looked up at me and he just had this weird, the dog had a weird look on his face. And then the guy went, and I was like, all right, free, come on. And I guess the guy thought that the dog was scared of him, because then we met up in the stairway, and he's like, hey, man, sorry I scared your dog. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, 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 you're good. And But he was gone. Right. I couldn't explain, like, oh, I make him sit at the door or whatever. 
The horrible thing is the guy happened to be of the black persuasion. Oh oh, oh. So I'm like, oh my God, he thinks I'm racist now oh, and that my oh, dog yeah, is racist yeah. and that we're just scared of black people. Like, yeah, yeah. I yeah. swear we're not Trump. Yeah, because <laughs> you did open the door and just stand there yourself. Right. You know I what stood, I mean? I did, and yeah. I didn't encourage the dog to walk through the door because yeah. he was doing what he was supposed to. Yeah, and then you guys both just stared there. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, oh. So, oh, wow. so now we look like we're afraid of the black guy that lives down the hall. Correct. Wow. That's awkward as fuck. <laughs> it kind of is. Yeah. I'm like, oh, God. I hope he doesn't think that's why. <laughs> that's uh, pretty funny. Yeah. White people problems. Yep. So, uh, also, I wanted to mention that we got an email from a listener. Mm-hmm. We are always telling you guys emails theunfilteredgentleman at gmail.com. Uh, the subject is whatever the fuck you want this to be. <laughs> Hello, unfiltered gentlemen, in quotes. Uh Uh-oh. It is I, Kyle, here to give you weekly advice on how to make your show actually good. (laughs) We could use a lot of that. Finally, yeah. Yeah. Please. Please. Continue. Uh, After 35 episodes. (laughs) Where have you been? (laughs) Simply put, more baseball. What? Because after all, it is the only sport that actually matters. Go Boston. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Also, Boston? Yeah. They came into a marathon right. Yeah. Oh, oh, geez. Yeah. Jeez. Man down. Uh, any- <laughs> yeah, deduct uh, two points for that low blow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes on to say, also, well, what do you call a bisexual on roller skates? Bisexual on roller skates? Rolades. No. Oh, oh, man. If that's not a Boston joke, I don't know what yeah, is. Yeah, that's wow. that's no, Boston man. caliber. No <laughs> yeah. kidding. Yeah, just like Boston, that joke bombed. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh wow. wow! Yeah, well, that's low. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, uh, thanks. That for letter was longer, more. I think, than the marathon actually was. <laughs> so, more baseball is the answer. More yeah. baseball, huh? I had no idea. I nobody had that idea. I didn't mm. know baseball was so popular by well, Boston. Anybody. I mean, what else do they have? That's they got, true. You know, Red Sox and the Celtics or whatever. Uh, yeah. mm. They, oh, have, they have the Patriots. They have the Patriots. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's about it, though. Let's not talk about their sports right now. It's mm. making me angry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least you, you can take solace in knowing that their basketball isn't a whole lot better than ours. Correct. So there is that. Yeah. Well. Anyways, thanks. <laughs> They're in first place. But Celtics are in first place? In their division. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, look at that division. LeBron's yeah, going to stomp them out. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean it's yeah, kind of a joke. But yes. They are. Yeah. Come on. They stomped us out. There <laughs> You're going to lose to Cleveland. Done. Live with it. Yeah. <laughs> So anyways, in honor of Kyle, we are in fact mm? going to talk a little baseball. All right. Oh, well, hey. Here you go, Whether Kyle. the Baltimore Pay Shop or the one-two punch, it's time for sports. Oh, stickers are on their way, Kyle. I'm saying Kyle stickers for cussing at us. It's in the mail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, baseball news. Here this we is, go. This is just for Kyle, everybody. Let's do it. Monday... Tim Tebow got his first <laughs> hit on the Mets. Oh, he did. His first base hit. There he you go. It. Yeah. Praise Tebow. Praise the Lord. Do you Tebow afterwards? Like when he got oh, his he first base, do you think? He should have. He's <laughs> one hit closer to Pete Rose's record there. <laughs> hey, you got to start somewhere. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why not in the offseason? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Spring training. Yeah, too bad a spring training. Yeah. So uh, there's Tebow for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, on to real sports. So okay. basketball. It was a lot of baseball. It was. It, it was, was. Yeah. It was more than we normally talk about, go, Kyle. Just like a hundred percent more. We yeah. need to take a couple shows breaks now. I think for yeah. baseball. That I was a lot. So, yeah. yeah, my butt still hurts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andre Iguodala was fined ten grand after mm. some inappropriate comments. Oops. Oh, he was very unhappy with the refereeing situation the other night, <laughs> and he said to the press, "We gotta, we gotta score more than the other team." Yep, they want dumb. N words. Ooh. So I'm going to give you all a dumb N word. Then asked whether the team issues run deeper than just scoring baskets. He responded, "What would dumb N words say? Just play harder. Figure it out. We need your Change. neighbor to come here and say the word for us. Change gonna come. <laughs> you know what we used to say? Change gonna come. <laughs> That's a little slave. Uh, wow, a little bit is there. Yeah, yeah. Where's my bit. neighbor when you need him? Uh, yeah, he uh, he is a little mad. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Apparently, he's going back to 12 years of slave or something. <laughs> well, <you> know, <laughs> or uh, Get Out. I mean, that's another movie that's pretty crazy. Uh, get Out. What is that? That's the one with, it's like a like a, a horror movie from Jordan Peele where like. Oh, yeah. I heard about know, he's that. He's going out with that white chick and then like the white people try to. And I heard it's him. a bit of a oh, mind wow. fuck. It looked like one. Mm-hmm. I mean, just the idea that someone could come up with that idea. Yeah. Sorry to ramble on about this, but I know there was a trippy, trippy. Trippy premise for a movie. Yes. I thought. Mm-hmm. So sports. 
Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Iggy uh, pissing off more people. And he wonders why he gets all these fouls, technical fouls and all that stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I wonder. In his defense, though, he do ask stupid questions. Oh, yeah. Depressed? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you want to talk... You know what? We, we, we talk about, like, uh, Trump and white privilege and stuff. Mm-hmm. Here's the ultimate showing of white privilege. Greg Popovich can say whatever he wants. That's true. Because he's Greg Popovich. Yeah, you're right. I mean, he probably can't drop an N-word, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He probably couldn't say that. Uh, no, he can't. Yeah. <laughs> he's Greg Popovich, though. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Close. Not quite. What would dumb... Dumb... <laughs> What would dumb man say? Can you imagine him saying that, dumb man? Oh. (laughs) What would dumb N-word say? Uh, (laughs) Mm. Man. Yeah, I don't think he could get away with that. Yeah. He's cutting it a little Mm. close. Speaking of dumb, Mm? Nick Young. (laughs) His house got broken into again. They stole his safe. It's like 500 grand worth of shit. Here's the thing. His back door was wide open. It doesn't make any sense. That's your fault. Yeah, I agree. A, you deserve it now, mm-hmm. and B, like insurance should not cover this. You got to lock your fucking doors. Yeah, like, this is insane. I, I don't know where. I mean, I can't imagine. Didn't he grow up in L.A.? I mean, what the hell, dude? Yeah, have you With not the heard USC? Of, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he locked his dorm. Yeah, yeah down there. You better, oh, man. Jeez, good lord, good God. Where do you think you live? Come on. They it's spent not- all the money on that college because the neighborhood around it is mm-hmm. pretty fucked. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're only safe on campus. Yeah. Um, Lamarcus Aldridge, not safe. He's out indefinitely with a heart arrhythmia. Oh, oh man, I know. That's crazy. I know. I man. guess it's a known condition, but it's been affecting him lately. I know, right? And it's like I don't think anybody's heard of it until right now. Yeah, like you said, it's known. I didn't know this shit. I didn't. Yeah. I wonder if this is gonna be like a Chris Bosh situation. Ooh. Oh wow. We're like, is he gonna be able to come back? Is he? You know, right. It's kind of weird. I want to say, uh, I think Roni Turioff had a problem with his heart, too. You're right. Point. Yeah. You remember he had, like, he had some a, surgeries. Yeah, yeah, right. As soon as he got drafted, he's like, oh, yeah, my oh, yeah. ticker doesn't work, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that I'm making money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now that I've been signed. Yeah. But, um, I mean, he played his heart out at, you know, <laughs> you, eh, <laughs> you know what I mean? But he did play <laughs> hard. And I don't yeah. think his heart really had anything to do with him, like, in his energy. He played really hard. Are you so, talking about Ronnie or uh, uh, yeah, Ronnie, Ronnie Tarioff? Yeah. yeah. So I, I wonder, like you said, if Aldridge can just play with it and it's not a big deal, or does he need surgery, or what the hell? Yeah. Well, they're not letting him hit the court. So, Man. and I don't know if that's a sign of how serious it is, or if that's just like we don't know what the fuck. So let's see what's going on before we let you correct wow. run your balls off. Yeah. <laughs> so Does basketball will do that to you, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, oh. Mm-hmm. Football, a lot of free agency stuff going on. <laughs> oh man, I, I, yeah, I see what we're going to be talking about yeah, right now. <laughs> oh boy, can we talk about the worst thing that's happened in football? <laughs> um, it's not a secret that my favorite team is the 49ers. Correct. They let their best player go. They did. He, oh, he walked. He's now with the Cardinals. Oh, oh. my god. Goodbye, Phil Dawson. He's going to score so many points. Oh, my God. Is he ever? Yeah. Now, because they're going to get him down near the end zone. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Niners couldn't do that. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Phil Dawson is their kicker. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? He scored he's, the most points on the team. He's not exactly a household name yet. I do have his jersey. Oh, yeah. In my closet. No joke. He's going to walk out on the field to kick the field goal and look at him. Oh, my God. We're this close? Yeah. Did, did we score a touchdown or what? <laughs> I can see this the fucking uprights. Yeah, what the <laughs> hell? Wow. Here, here, take my binoculars. I don't need them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, man. Uh, how so, old is Phil Dawson? How what? How old is he? I think he's 42. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's in his 40s. Wow. Yeah, he's uh, he's up there, but he's fucking Mr. So kicking. Yeah, he's old course, faithful. Yeah. So who's their kicker now? Niners? Yeah. Oh, they signed some jabroni. Uh, the <laughs> Mats kicker. The, the Bears ki- kicker. Um, uh, Gold? Robbie Gold? <laughs> Maybe. No way. Wow. Because he's good, too. The, the Niners have become the San Francisco Bears uh, this offseason. They signed like five <laughs> or six Bears players. Bears. Yeah. Because the Bears did so well last year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. It's like you guys weren't bad enough. No. You're like, who's another shitty team we can steal from? In the NFC. Well, you yeah. know, it's important that they sign a good punter and a good uh, field goal kicker because they still don't have a quarterback. Mm, no. Uh, unfortunately, we do still have a quarterback. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. Well, actually, he's uh, made himself a free agent. So hopefully. Oh, that's right. So oh, Kaepernick? Yeah. Kaepernick, Kaepernick restructured his deal so he could become, become a free agent. So knowing the Niners, they'll probably sign him for double. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope it, they let him go. Didn't you guys sign a quarterback? In the sense of the word, like um, <laughs> Gabbert did. I thought it was somebody else. I think Gabbert. Like, I think. He was oh, gone we too. did. Yeah, yes, he was equally as uh, equally as Gabbert. Yeah, yeah. I can't Should remember. I, the I can't name even think anymore. of who it is right now. Yeah, this is this is great sports talk. It too really bad. Is, this is a right? one guy. <laughs> too bad Tebow's oh. doing so good in baseball because they could have signed him. That's true. I'd take him at this point. It's um, 
wasn't it Jameis Winston's backup or something? That's right, Glennon. Is that who they signed? Wait, was it? Somebody signed him. I think the Bears I think the did. Bears signed oh, the Bears him. signed him. <laughs> bear. Dude, this top. Did we get cover. Cutler? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like the Bears and 49ers just like out sucking themselves out here. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. I like out suck myself. Oh, man. All right. Enough about enough Sorry. 49er talk. Yeah, uh, that was a lot. Free agency. Tony Romo's uh, future up in the air. Ooh. Uh-oh. Dallas trying to dump him to anybody who will take him no one really wants to take him for anything valuable because you know he's old as shit right and he wants to i guess he's still getting paid a lot yeah, so yeah. he wants that contract he's yeah. the nfl's version of carmelo anthony yeah <laughs> the only thing i mean prescott had a good year but is that really prescott or did he just have a good year it might be worth it to keep romo on board I, but that's what to, i'm thinking to kind of you know? teach prescott not to he's, be a douche he's, he's a rookie <laughs> he had one good year i mean it could be another kaepernick thing you're right mm, exactly you never know. i mean i probably not but I I, I attest chance, that Kaepernick's yeah. downfall was that he was new and no one knew how to defend him, and then exactly. after a year they learned how to defend him, right. which was let him pass, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, stop him from running. And, yeah, but I, I think uh, press any quarterback actually is in a good position on that Cowboys team with that offensive line with Ezekiel Elliott with Des Bryant. I mean, with uh, what's his name? Uh, their tight end uh, Witten. I mean, they got yeah. so many weapons that like man, like it just must be awesome to play quarterback at that position with what you have going for you there you know so i mean i thought prescott did pretty well i can't see unless like he was fun to watch right unless he seriously regresses somehow yeah you know he's got the weapons yeah i'm saying as long as he doesn't do what kaepernick did and become predictable yeah i think he'll be fine correct um but yeah so i just would think maybe one more year with romo on the bench and stand up don't don't kneel <laughs> Kaepernick said he's not going to do he that. Did, this year. He did. He oh, said that's that, right. that was a big yeah. news. That's the only thing that 49ers have to look forward to. That's about it. <laughs> Kaepernick's <laughs> not going to kneel this yeah, year. That's, about it. that's resigning him. He's not going to kneel. Yeah. Ooh, double. Um, and Houston has dumped Brock Osweiler. Oh, finally. <laughs> to the Browns. Yeah, for nothing. Oh, my they God. They gave him, it was Brock and a second round pick yeah. in exchange for a fourth a round fourth pick. Round. <laughs> and the Browns are not sure they're going to keep him. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, that's right. It was so great because I'm sitting next to uh, my friend Trevor, who I work with, and he's you know, a football fan and all that. And I got the ESPN alert that that had been the trade. And I go, oh, look, they traded you. But what'd they get for him? It was like fourth round pick. <laughs> He's like, you mean fourth overall pick? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fourth round pick. Yeah. He, he could not wrap his brain around this. <laughs> I was like, yep, they are clearly dumping a contract. Well, I'm surprised they made a trade at all for with Brock. I mean, that guy was terrible. Oh, he was. I mean, he was oh, just he, the worst quarterback in the league. I don't think any yeah. other team would take him but the Brock. I mean, they took Manziel. Why not take right. Osweiler? Anyway? Right. I, I mean, bet the Niners would take him. <laughs> <laughs> let's be honest here <laughs> they might yeah that's true yeah so anyways uh dumping him uh ezekiel elliott mm. showing some boobage yeah yeah not he, his own though no no thank god <laughs> uh he was yeah. at a uh, saint patrick's day parade over the weekend and some chick was up on the float with him and he's just like well here's her titties hey and uh, flashing the crowd for her did the old g thing move right yeah. there <laughs> yeah you know what i'm talking Ain't about nothing but a g that's thing. right uh, that was, I, it I, was I, all good and fun when they did it in the yeah, g thing video exactly it's now good it's and a fun big problem the, yeah. well here's the thing people are like oh how dare he she never complained there was no charges filed they're just having a good time yeah, everybody that's else right. complained about her she's the right that's right yeah. yeah i'm it, sure she had a terrific pair Oh yeah, double mm-hmm. E on the double D's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah double yeah, E yeah, on the yeah. double D's. I like that. That's <laughs> good. Uh, Scott's done, everybody. Yeah, yeah. good night. Have, have a good night. Now. Yeah, we're out of here. Good night, Michelle. Past my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Michelle. <laughs> yeah. Pool house. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I like wow. it. Oh god, that's all for sports. I want to mention one other thing. Um, Dan over here. Yes. It's a lot smarter than I realized. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, you Me were, too. You were so smarty pants. <laughs> Apparently. He's got himself a sports blog. You can check it out what? at cleaninguptheglass.wordpress.com. It's probably just a basketball blog, right? Correct. Uh, he's got one article up so far. Yeah, working and, on it. Uh, sadly, it was about Dan Tony, but yeah. it was well written. Oh. Yeah. And just to show you, you know, I'm not just going to be writing about, you know, biased stuff. You know, I don't like Dan Tony, but, you know, you couldn't tell it from my piece. So. No. Thank you. I was uh, surprised that you were so favorable in your article. I, I was a little bit. It kind of made me sick. But kind of I mean, felt hey, disgusted. Hey, he's doing little. well this year, I guess. So. You know, he is. But um, like I said, it, it, I kind of described how he uh, his offense is a little steroid for, for guards, and that's kind of mm-hmm. explaining why James Harden's just doing so well in oh, his offense. Okay. But, yeah. you know, Eric Gordon's having a terrific year. Now Lou Williams is there. Cleaning the, up the Lou. glass. That's yeah. Good. Okay. Cleaning up the glass. Dot WordPress. Dot com. Correct. We're going to work on getting him a dot com. Yes. Because yeah. <laughs> that's a mouthful. That yeah. is a mouthful. <laughs> you know, the one thing in your article I wanted to say was oh. uh, 
James Harden having a breakout year under Dan Tony, but James Harden has now been given absolute permission to not play defense because of Dan Tony. Exactly. And and like I said, you know, defense and big man aside, you know, I and like I said, nobody's talking about the big men from Houston anymore. They're like an afterthought. Right. Everyone that's throwing the party right now is all their guards. So I mean, you know. It's a party for the guards. It really is. Yeah. And, and like you said, James Harden really can fit into his defense which is nothing yeah which is just score more points <laughs> yeah. yeah to make up for not playing defense. <laughs> so anyway so check it out it's very well written i was pleasantly surprised hmm. and i mean that in the nicest way possible thank you appreciate yes. that yeah uh speaking of uh, a little bit more sports this one's right up our dan's really gonna enjoy this one elvia has got uh, some more sports facts oh cool oh, nice hey guys it's her. elvia here this time to talk a little about um chick hearn and for those of you that don't know um Chick was, yeah, he was an announcer for the Lakers, but more than that, he was the only play-by-play announcer that the Lakers ever had. He was, in in essence, the voice of the Lakers for many years. He um, called his first Laker game in March 1961. Do you remember that date, Scott? And um, his last <laughs> game was June 12, 2002. Um, I don't know if Dan remembers this, but that's when uh, the Lakers beat the the Nets to complete a sweep of the NBA Finals and Correct. get their ninth title since moving from Minneapolis. So, yeah, it was pretty awesome. He obviously was a very instrumental part of the Laker organization. He called a record of 3,338 consecutive Laker games. He was not only just the announcer, like we were saying, he obviously coined a lot of uh, phrases that we use now. He had this ability to call the game that you would be enticed to watch it, um, to, yeah, to watch it and listen to him. He had terms, um, some of the phrases that he had was famously the no harm, no foul, or um, my personal favorite, the mustard soft, the hot dog, ticky tack foul, and fake them into the popcorn machine just just a few examples i'm sure that there's more that you guys know some of them um the other thing that he's kind of i guess famously known for is when whenever he believed that the lakers victory was just in the bag he would like end it by saying stuff yep. like you can put this in one uh, this one in the refrigerator the doors closed the lights out the eggs are cooling the butter's getting hard and the jello's jiggling so that was his way of just ending the game i guess other things he made um you know the term slum dunk and airball common there were common expressions that he coined so it's pretty pretty instrumental just to the whole nba um, organization and during my research he i also found that um in 1986 he released a rap single it was called rap around and it's actually the one that's been playing in the background um for this segment and it's basically just a song about all his famous basketball phrases or chickisms that, that he made up. I wanted you guys to know a little bit about him. And, of course, we're always going to remember him for the passion that he, he brought to each and every Laker broadcast. I've been watching, like, um, things on YouTube. And it's just much more exciting to, to have lived in that era when he, when he was live and was able to do that. So that's it for me. Thanks for listening. We love Chick Hearn. Oh, yeah, yes, we definitely. Do. I was crying through the whole thing. <laughs> You know, when when he was uh, calling games, you know, he used to do, and you don't really hear a lot about this, but uh, anymore anymore. But he used to do the simulcast, remember? Yeah, mm-hmm. where it was the radio, yeah. and then him yeah. at the same time calling the games. What I used to like to do when the playoffs were on is uh, they would always have some, you know, like I know people like Marv Albert and stuff, but to me it was always like Jordan. Pippin, yeah. yes. Like, <laughs> what the hell's going on, man? So what I would do is I would mute Marv and whoever else was talking, probably Bill Walton's crazy ass, and like, <laughs> and I would play uh, Chick Hearn. So I, while I'm watching the game on the playoffs, I'm listening to Chick Hearn. He was that important to the game. Like I just had to hear oh, him. Oh yeah. yeah, he's like Jr. to WWE. C- like. Correct. Yeah, he is. I have the rap. <laughs> Two of the three of us laughed at the uh, remark about 1961, and guess which two it was? I guess which one wasn't laughing? You were. But I gotta let it go because I might need her to get me out of jail someday. That's true. Yeah. yeah. She's a lawyer. You know what else I liked about Chick Hearn, too, about that? And then she asked if I remembered the, the 2003 was his last, uh, or 2002 was his last game that he called against mm-hmm. the Nets where we swept them. But it's funny because, you know, I know uh, Scully had his, you know, fa- farewell tour. Most people do have their fa- farewell tour. Uh, Chick Hearn had passed away that summer. Yeah. Um, but it was crazy. Like, it's almost like he knew it because the, his final words, and he never ended a broadcast any, you know, that that way. But that that day he did. He said, goodbye, everybody. Like, that's the way really? he ended it. Yeah. That was his final words to everybody, and then he passed away that summer. That's creepy. Isn't it weird? I remember when he got injured. Like, he fell down. Didn't he, like, fall downstairs yeah, and hit his head? Right. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. 
I was like, well, he'll be fine. And then like a week later, <laughs> I know. Oh. It's like, I, but I just remember that. I was like, I, I think he saw it coming. I was like, goodbye. It's like, where's he going? Mm-hmm. You know, they call Vince Goy the you know the voice of summer. Chick is the voice of my childhood. Yeah, right. You know, I just I grew up with Chick. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I grew up with Vin too, but I'm <laughs> more of a basketball fan. So. Chickren was a man. He was. He'll be missed. Now we have to listen to Stu Lance with <laughs> <laughs> nobody that'll stop him. <laughs> Bill McDonald, man, he pisses me off, man. He's like way too much about the other team when he's calling the games. Bill McDonald, well, have you seen the Lakers lately? Yeah, I know, but Jesus Christ, I mean, it's like whose side are you on? He's like, look at the Warriors with the three. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, it's like, oh no, you're terrible. Oh, God. I hate you. <laughs> well, rest in peace, Chick Hearn. We still miss you. Ah, it's been 15 years. 2002. Wow. Oh wow. man, we're just coming up on 15 years. Yeah, you're Holy right. shit. God damn, dude. Damn. Wow. You hit me with that one. Mm. 15 years. It hit me in the heart. Yeah. Yeah. Just like Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> or Lamar Aldridge. Aldridge. <laughs> yeah, Aldridge. <laughs> wrong, wrong spur. Right. Oh, God, I They're all up. equally boring. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Best boring team ever. They are. Um, all right. Let's uh, old timey word of the week. This one is get one's ashes hauled. Get one's ashes hauled. Means to have sex. Oh, mm. get your ashes hauled. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's from the 1800s. Uh, yeah. Those bubs were so nice. I just had to go get my ashes hauled. <laughs> See how well it works? Yeah, Let's go back by the, the dumpster and get my ashes hauled here. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, <dumpster>. what? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I think that was a code word for rape or something. Yeah, so I need to go uh, haul some ashes. Yeah. Would you mind helping me? Sure. I'm, I'm going to say it to my girlfriend just see what she does. Like, yeah. The look she gives. Hey, you want to go haul some ashes? Like, the fuck? What? Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't want to clean up. What are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, so oh, yes. Man. Get one's ashes hauled. All right. We have a new segment from the 21st Amendment Girls. They are back. They're comparing two delicious beers. And uh, if you remember, when they had their first segment, they were holding a contest to see what the name of their segment would be. They found a contest winner. And their name of their segment is, of course... Exercising the 19th. There you go. Yeah, for those of you who don't know. Tip of uh, the cap. Yeah, 19th Amendment is uh, women's right to vote, so they're voting on their favorite beer. You're welcome. You all learned something. Wow. And let's listen to them learn us something. Hi, I'm Renee. I'm Chelsea. And And we're we're the the 21st 21st Amendment girls. girls. We're here exercising the 19th with oatmeal stouts this month. We chose Ballast Points Nitro Red Velvet and Firestone's Velvet Merlin. Mm. So let's just kind of talk about the beers look like. So we have Ballast Points Red Velvet. Um, So if you haven't been on Instagram, let me just tell you what it looks like. It looks like blood. It does not look, it does not look (laughs) like blood. That is horrific. (laughs) It looks like mm, fruit punch. It looks like fruit punch. Okay, okay. It's just, there's like a skull on the bottle and it kind of creeps me out. And then we have Firestone, which is just your typical oatmeal stout and it looks like your typical oatmeal stout nothing special here so we chose these two beers because uh they're similar release dates they have uh, similar abvs ibus scores on ba and velvets in both names so mvps (laughs) but let's get into what we thought because they are extremely different ready to take a sip of uh let's start with the weird one yeah i'm about the weird one we have to okay Definitely red velvet. It smells like cocoa pebbles. <laughs> it's sweet. Cocoa it is sweet. pebbles. Oh, and it tastes like cocoa pebbles. Oh. I kind of want it like a bowl of milk right now yeah. and like cereal. Do you notice the nitro? Like the, because I guess they're both velvet, so the mouthfeel is supposed to be a little like that. Yeah. No, I can, it's definitely light. It's not hmm. uh, like medium body like I was expecting. Yeah. I was a little worried because I saw that what gives it the red color is beets and I thought we were going to taste Beets, which may be part of the, the sweet profile, but I don't immediately, I definitely think red velvet. I don't think beets. I mean, to be fair, I was expecting blood still, so. Oh. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't that. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and give Firestone a shot. Okay, me first. Take one for the team. Okay. Okay, now that's oatmeal stout. And that is definitely an oatmeal stout. We got cocoa in the front. Kind of a metallic um, aftertaste. A little malty, malty, roasted feel. Yeah. Yeah. Medium body. I mean. What you see is what you get. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So with that said, we have two beers that are completely different 
again. Um, what does this keep happening? <laughs> <laughs> I swear they said oatmeal stout on the bottle. We weren't sure. I mean, we were sure. We thought we were sure, but, yeah, but here we are. But this is what keeps it interesting, right? So, because now having to decide is a bit of a conundrum. Now, do we vote for the one that is like an oatmeal stout? Right. Like, that's true to, form. true to form. Or do we go for weird? Mm, okay, so whenever I have to make this decision, if you remember last time, I always go, you're at the grocery store, you're about to go to a party, what do you choose? I feel like I'm going to be that person that brings the nitro red velvet. I know it's fucking weird, <laughs> but that's exactly why I would bring it. It's the type of thing where you just want to have a bottle to try it. You don't need to have six. Yeah. Versus Firestone, you know, if someone's hankering for an oatmeal stout, maybe, but it's nothing I would write home about. Yeah, I mean, like the Firestone, I would... And I, I love Firestone. Yes, absolutely. Well, you know my obsession with Firestone. Right. Um, you too. know, it, was, Hell it yeah. would be yeah. a six-pack that I would take home, you know, kind of nurse on, enjoy for the evening. Um, but the Nitro is um, Red Velvet is what I would take to a party, mostly because I'd be like, guys, it's not blood in my glass. <laughs> All right, well, that's a way to kick off. <laughs> for a Halloween party. Ooh, there you go. I make yeah. friends with my weird beers. <laughs> uh, so I guess we kind of come down to, do we vote for, you know, traditional or weird as fuck? Yeah, I mean, who did oatmeal stout better? Firestone, for sure. Hell Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. Between yep. the two. What am I going to buy? Exercising the 19th, I'm going to buy Ballast Point. Yep. So it's probably going to be the only ballast point that I will actually buy. Ah. Mm. Um, Maybe this will change the tide. I don't think so. <laughs> but if it was a nice attempt. I mean, if your standard was blood, then we can only go up. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we definitely decided on the red velvet. I guess that's it for us this month. Mm. Um, we will be back next month with something more spring because we can't decide if we want to do a pale ale not a pale ale i have commitment issues so all right guys thanks for listening and we will see you next month bye bye you know i was really glad that they made it clear that's the only ballast point they'd buy <laughs> yeah the person was like oh man they're really spreading some love on ballast point yeah and i'm not a big fan maybe something wrong with me mm. and then they're like no that's the only one we'll buy like oh thank god yeah, <laughs> yeah i'm not uh, that's too one. bad man like i said their grapefruit was good but it, it was good until it right. just turned into a sugary mess yeah, right i mean obviously i'm not gonna down like you know six of those at a time here but you know like i would with a lot of other beers right i, I mean if it was free and all i had <laughs> yeah it's better than no beer the mango is pretty good i had the uh watermelon oh no that's disgusting <laughs> i felt like they just melted a bunch of jolly ranchers into a beer <laughs> correct <laughs> oh, that man. is gross it i was, will not drink that one it was garbage that is awful and i've had some watermelon beers where it's like i couldn't drink nine of these but it's got a good flavor and i could see why someone would enjoy this okay not that one. Nope, not oh, that God. one. I won't yeah. buy it, but if they gave it to me, I would drink it. But then again, I'd, <laughs> I would say there's very few things yeah, that you wouldn't. Just, that's true. Free, yeah, free. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so check out the 21st Amendment Girls at 21st. That's 21st. Est? 21st <laughs> Amendment Girls on uh, Instagram and Facebook and all that good stuff. They're also on Twitter. Uh, do check them out. I, I was talking to Chelsea after she sent me the segment, and I, and I was like, oh, Velvet Merlin. Have you had Velvet Merkin? No. Oh. She's like, no, I have not. You know, They're on the East Coast. Uh, they're in D.C. And I said, oh, there would have been a clear winner. Oh. Mm. Have you guys had Velvet Merkin? Nope. I don't think so. This might have to be our first craft yourself. Ooh. Oh, oh or snap. Nice. Nice. There's so many I want to do for craft yourself, but I had a few booze on the budget, so I want to get out of the way first. Oh, so, okay. Uh, Velvet Merkin. Wow. And okay. I have Merlin. You know, I have Merlin. I'll go pick up a Merkin. Beer Science. I there like it. Uh, good I'm meeting, everybody. Oh, good meeting. Yes. I, got, I love this place. Why yeah. do I... <laughs> Why do I take time? I should just be sick here. <laughs> what the hell's my problem? No, I don't want you shitting your pants here. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to follow the 21st Amendment Girls. Uh, you will not be sorry. They have lots of good picks of beers and all that good stuff. And and uh, just like the beer girl, they're way better at talking about beer than we are. Agreed. True. That's, yeah. uh, that is for sure. Yep. All right. Dan's got a new a movie for us. Have you seen the latest moving picture? Let's talk movies for guys. Yeah, that's right. Uh, over the weekend, I had watched uh, Spectre, which is the fourth story of Phil Spectre. <laughs> <laughs> that's a creepy motherfucker, man. <laughs> it is. He's got some weird ass hair. But uh, no, no, no. This is a fourth installment, I believe, of uh, Daniel Craig's uh, 
uh, version of the James Bond. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, this came out in 2015, and I believe we got the trailer. Absolutely. All righty. This organization, do you know what it's called? Its name is Spectre. Look around you, James. Everything you believed in, a ruin. Why did you come? You came here to kill you. And I thought you came here to die. Well, it's all a matter of perspective. So yeah, that's Spectre, and basically what Spectre is is um, it's like pretty much the organization that um, if you've seen the other James Bonds uh, with Le Chief and uh, Javier Bordem's uh, character, um, they all kind of operated under this guy, and this guy, the the super villain, if mm-hmm. you will, that's you know killed uh, James Bond's girlfriend in the first one, which was uh, Vesper, and uh, killed his boss too, M. Um, it's Christoph Waltz. Oh. And, uh, yeah, and, and he's from, you know, if you remember uh, Inglorious Bastards, he was the, um, the the Jew hunter. Yes. And, God, I love him in that role. He was so awesome. And I, I think the if I had a complaint to kind of dig out about this movie is there was not enough Christoph Waltz. Like, when you got a villain. He's amazing. He is good. And he's good at being charming and evil at the same time. Yeah. It's almost in a like a, a Hannibal Lecter, like a Sir Anthony Hopkins type, you mm-hmm. know, where it's like. He's talking to you, but you could tell he's like he knows something, but he's like eight steps ahead of you. You know what I mean? And th- that's how Christoph Waltz comes. And uh, and I kind of felt like they really missed an opportunity for some more cat and mouse. I think with James Bond and Christoph mm. Waltz, have him chase him around a little bit. Yeah. Um, but uh, the movie itself is um, it's pretty dope. Uh, the, the, I know the opening scene. I mean, had me hooked from the beginning. I mean, uh, fortunately, like I would say, a lot of the uh, chase and action isn't as good as the beginning the beginning right from the mm. right from the start the start he's like trying to have a find out um because uh this is m's final order to him before she died she sent him a video and said you gotta you know find this guy and, and kill him and okay. he, he was like okay so basically james bond is going rogue you know this isn't a mission handed down to him from the you know the 007s you know this is this is him just going out on himself and doing something he's a mercenary for yeah hire. he really is he really is so um he's trying to get some some intel and he ends up you know blowing up this building it's collapsing it's a really cool scene where he's trying to escape all the rubble and the guy's getting away in a helicopter and he jumps in the helicopter and starts fighting the people in the helicopter and it's just it was just awesome i was like this this is like i'm into the movie you got me <laughs> um another kind of complaint i guess i had on the movie was uh the title song it's, it's a little lacking. It's yeah, not, I heard it today. Correct. You, yeah, you, what did you think? Yeah, like, eh, agreed. Agree. Yeah, it, yeah, it's not like I, I know Adele had built it out a, a really good one. I think in Skyfall, mm-hmm. that was a good one. This one, I was like, eh, this one's okay. You know, so yeah. another complaint. Um, but um, for the most part, I mean, it's, you know, it's a James Bond movie. He's gonna whip out a bunch of gadgets. You know, that he's gonna roll around in an Aston Martin and his dick. It's James Bond. Oh man. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I mean, the dastardly There's things. A gadget right there. <laughs> <laughs> go go gadget dick. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dastardly things he does with his penis in this movie is ridiculous. Like, first of all, okay, Monica Bellucci's in this movie, oh. yeah, and she's hot, right? Yeah. Um, but I would say she's a little more on the uh, aged. You she's know? she's like a fine wine, right? She's right. been aged in uh, the uh, wine refrigerator. Yeah, yeah. But uh, in her situation, uh, her husband passes away, who is like a, a criminal. Mm, that's a shame. Yeah, but guess what James <laughs> Bond does? Mm. You know, so let, let that be a lesson. To Swoops him. on in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, and then on top of that, um, he gets this other guy to, uh, he's another criminal. He gets him to kill him, and then he ends up sleeping with his daughter. And wow. I'm like, holy crap, this guy's like got no morals or, 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 or anything. It's just like just getting his dick into everything. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah, it, it's quite the life he lives. What a rough life. Yes. I know. 
It really is. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with him? (laughs) Come on. But I just did kind of find it odd. Usually, you know, he just, you know, bangs the chick that's trying to kill him or whatever. But man, he was just like, hey, you used to date this guy? I'm going to (laughs) bone you right now. Like, I was like, okay, this is, this is crazy. Um, but, um, the, the, isn't that what like married couples do? You got, you bang the chick that tries to kill, trying to kill you. (laughs) (laughs) She's trying to kill you in your sleep. Yeah. 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 I mean, she got life insurance on speed dials. Right. (laughs) But yeah, um, uh, the movie, I, I did like the movie, um, uh, kind of an, a new kind of uh, rating system I was thinking about mm-hmm. would be, um, you know, would you, you know, drink along with this movie or yes. are you drinking to kind of get through it? Yes. Oh. And in this movie, you're definitely drinking along with it. You All know, right. There's so it's a cheers to the movie. Agreed. Oh, agreed. Okay. Yeah. You're like, hey, you know, I need a beer. Because I was going to is... go for it either way. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> you're drinking know, either way. Too. Right. Yeah. But you know, there's some movies where yeah. it's like, oh, God, this is terrible. Yeah. Like, I'm going to go Please, get I'll... drunk. Yeah. So, this is uh, terrible. I get, you know, drunk. This is really good. I got to get drunk. Yeah, exactly. There's different reasons why we do it. And this, <laughs> this is the good reason. Yes. Okay. So, um, but uh, I would also say, um, eh, I'd probably say maybe about, um, you know, six out of 10 stars if I was to give it anything. Okay. You know, so. All right. Yeah, it's definitely. You know, average yeah it is a little yeah. bit you know like i said you know it, it's it's not one of the better of uh you know daniel craig's you know yeah personally i like the casino royale and uh skyfall was really good afterwards you know casino royale had that really awesome car chase opening right yes oh god that was so good yeah that's right that was really good yeah and this is gonna sound super nerdy but no. remember i went to film school yeah i was so mad when they did not win the oscar that year for sound editing <laughs> <laughs> what is that <laughs> because that opening scene alone but i mean the entire movie was great but uh-huh. that opening scene like the sound editing on it was fantastic. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Like, go back and watch them, but really, really listen. Like if you could put it on like a surround sound. Uh huh. Oh god, it was great. What, what, they were nominated and everything. Right? They were. I was oh like, okay. Well, they're gonna take it for sure. <laughs> I don't remember who it was. Some other Jabron. They always it. get it wrong, right? Yeah. Like well, Mickey Rourke, he well, should have won that shit too for the <laughs> for the wrestler. <laughs> yeah, the wrestler. Yeah. yeah, that's right. But I mean, Bond is never going to win an Oscar. No, ever. Right. So, I, well, hey, I mean, what didn't Jurassic Park win for like musical score or something like yeah. that? Everybody's got something. Yeah, but they have Spielberg attached to it. Right. So. That's true too. I guess Bond is like uh, action porn. It's just never going to get a real mm. award. They're going to have to have like the AVNs for action. Films. Right. So. And I would say, like I said, this one is kind of a little lesser on the action only because it's like a, a culmination and a, and a resolution to like a, a conclusion to the other three Bond movies. So like you're kind of wanting to see how this one's going to get wrapped up. Hmm. And um, yeah. Is this it, Daniel Craig's last one? I believe it is. Interesting. Yeah. So. All right. We'll have to see who they pick. Yeah. But like I said, I would have loved some more Christoph Waltz. Oh, the one thing I was going to say when you were talking about him. Mm-hmm. No matter what film he's in, you don't remember that I'm watching Christoph Waltz. Like, if Will right. Smith is in a movie, it's like, hey, it's Independence Day. Oh, it's not Independence Day? <laughs> it's another Will Smith movie? It, All right, well, fine. That doesn't help because he's always saying, welcome to Earth. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Ollie, but Christoph welcome Waltz, to Earth. <laughs> Christoph Waltz, like, melts into every character. Yeah. And you don't realize it's Christoph Waltz. He just does such a fantastic fucking job. Right. Like, I mean, if you've watched Django, he's, like, very lovable and, like, very uh, heroic in the way he actually... Exactly. You know what I mean? But if you watch uh, Inglorious Bastards, he's son of a bitch, man. Yeah. He's evil personified. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, uh, well, good stuff. So, you recommend it to all of our drinking friends. Yeah, I will. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, Before we get to a little bit of news, let's get to more important stuff. So many times I can say stuff in a minute and a half. Don't stand up too quickly. It's chick of the day. It is indeed. She doesn't put her name on the old uh, Facebooks, but she does go by the handle at Dallas Beer Babe. And uh, she's pretty easy on the eyes. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I we don't need a- names. <laughs> need not apply. Yeah, <laughs> names are not important. Uh, sorry, guys. I didn't. I have no, a better okay. picture. I'm not showing them the best picture. Oh, yeah. But you guys on, on the uh, social medias yeah. will be able to see a great picture. Yeah. Right on. She's uh, she's easy on the eyes. She likes tasty craft beer. And Ooh, you can follow I like her already. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> done, done. Yeah. Here we go. This is the one I was looking for. Uh, you oh can follow God. her on the oh, Instagrams yeah. at Dallas Beer Babe. Oh, she's really cute. Mm-hmm. And she likes beer. Yeah. She got my vote. Yep. Mm-hmm. Makes her cuter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> As the right. night goes on. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, ooh, excuse me. I just burped without saying the word. Oh, jeez. All right, let's talk a little news here. Yay. 
extra, extra, fellas. It's news for you. All right, so I believe it was last week uh, while Dan was shitting himself, we were talking... <laughs> We were talking about uh, Sam Adams and their Hopscape seasonal that was just tanking it across the board, taking it so hard that it was uh, losing money for the entire company. And I said, "Well, we got to find this." Yeah, and fear not, I found it. Oh, right on. Yes. So uh, we have here Hopscape, which they call a wheat ale brewed with West Coast hops. I think their biggest problem was they called it Hopscape, and it's only got 30 IBUs. Uh, so uh, clearly, people are expecting a nice big IPA or something super hoppy when they open up Hopscape. Uh, anyway, so I tweeted out, and I Instagrammed and everything, asking people today if they'd had it. Uh, we got a lot of responses. Uh, former chick of the day, Madeline said, it's pretty bad in my opinion. Snagged a taste on tap out of curiosity. Did not order a pint. Hmm. Listener Ollie says, we were trying to promote sales at her store. She works at Trader Joe's. Uh, our beer selection leader just can't ha- can't get this off the shelf. Oh, wow. <laughs> I need to go to that store if it's on sale. <laughs> really? <laughs> beer on sale. Uh, on Twitter, at Alex Burr 42 says, nothing special, not terrible, though. And uh, former chick of the day in dives we trust K says I, she tried it, thought it was fine, nothing crazy in either direction, good or bad, drinkable, drinkable, drinkable. Uh, <laughs> I would definitely, I definitely wouldn't call it bad, just not amazing. I really like the name though. I like the name if it's an IPA. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, it, it sounds like most people say it's not bad, for one exception. Uh, we have it here. I'm going to taste it. Um. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to try it right now too. I think. I'll warn you. Uh, after drinking such a delicious fucking beer like Fortem, <laughs> right? It's a little rough. Yeah, it is, it's, man. But it's, I mean, it's not terrible. Uh, it's to not me, to me anyway. Correct. I mean, well, spoiler it, alert: I had one the other day. Oh my god! It was my first beer. I had not had anything before it. I was like, oh, this isn't so bad at all. Oh yeah, it's not real hoppy. Tasting it again though, right? I mean, yeah. So it's not real hoppy, and the name makes me think it's going to be. It's only 30 IBUs, but I was like, oh, this is fine. This is pretty easy to drink. Maybe be good on a hot day or something. Kind of, you know, chug it real real easy. Uh, but now that I've had a really, really good beer like Fortem, right. and I'm trying to drink it, it's a little hard to go down. 30 IBUs is really nothing. I and mean, like, most pale ales are higher than that. Correct. And and that's what's, uh, like you said, very uh, misleading about the name Hopscape and having a big picture of a hop on it like right. bigger than the size of an island it looks yeah, like yeah is that it's not very hoppy at all um the taste uh if i can simplify it um in the best way i can describe it is uh, it tastes very domestic mm, and like okay. almost like a like a coors or like a wow. budweiser taste to it which is like if bud tried to make a quote-unquote craft beer right yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and i'm sorry to be that insulting about wow. it but you know like that's what it tastes like it has a very like like i'm gonna get a headache tomorrow from drinking this you know what i mean <laughs> like it's like it's not gonna go well so i guess the question is would you pay for it fuck we all know we'd take free beer. Like that's, that's right, a silly right. question. But if uh, if you had to go to the store, and I believe it was it was a six pack. I think it was like nine bucks no. for the six pack. No, nine bucks for a six. No, no, no. no, no so no. it was over over a buck a beer. No, I don't think I would. I, I I think there's better beer that you can get for less. Yeah, than nine I think our booze on a budget last week was better than oh, this for way fucking yeah. less. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, hey, if you're gonna go domestic, you might, I, I'd probably go back to my Tecate, the three tall cans for <laughs> five yeah. bucks or whatever it was. I'm like, hey, drunk, there you go, yeah. man. So, all right. So, since no one wants to pay for it, let me man. let me see what you think of this. Beer Advocate has it as at an eighty four. Really? I think that's a little friendly. It is. I don't you know. Maybe we're just being jerks or something, but man. Yeah, we're just being beer snobs or yeah, something. Yeah, and I really wanted to come on here and make fun of everybody in New England. Ah, right. what's wrong with this beer? <laughs> <laughs> I taste hops. But you know what? It's it's not very it's, good. It's uh, just kind of average. Yeah. You know, you know what's really disappointing is I actually really enjoy just about every Sam Adams seasonal they put out. I hate right. the regular Boston lager, <laughs> but the seasonals are, are usually pretty fucking good. Uh, but here's the thing. like, We might sound snobby, but 84... Four Tim only had a ninety one, right? It's only seven points higher. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. No, it's not. This is way more than seven points better. Yeah, we than Hopscape. We've definitely surpassed this type of quality, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. So if Four Tim's a ninety one, this has got to be at least low seventies. Uh, 
You know, if we're, we're going to compare it to that. It's sad, man. Like, yeah. I, I just don't. Look, it's drinkable. It's fine. I'm not offended. I'm not happy. Yeah. But uh, it's certainly not an 84 if four Tim's only No, if somebody, if you're going to tell me that's an 84, I got something to say about that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I'll say like, uh, you know, I'll drink it or blah, blah, blah. But to come out, hey, 84, yeah. pretty, no, no, no. No, it isn't. It's not very good. Yeah, if I broke into someone's fridge and it was this or Bud Light, like I'd very happily take this yeah. right, over Bud right. Light. Correct. It's not hard to drink, but I think it's just overpriced and uh, overrated. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I, yeah, the, the 84 qual- is... And the quality isn't there. Mm-hmm. I, I don't believe it is. Like I said, like it, it tastes very domestic, and with domestic, it's not... It's not their full ass. It's very half ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> and when I'm going down, I want a full ass. I want all the ass. <laughs> Every ass. That's right. Yeah. So, all right, good. I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. Uh, real quickly, a couple of news stories to get through. Bad news. Uh, have you guys ever had Speakeasy? The brewery Speakeasy? Yes. Like Big Daddy IPA. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're closing down. What? What? Yeah, at least for now. Um, they've They've lost funding. And they're out of money, and, uh, they, and they thought they had more funding secured, and it looks like they don't, no, and they're I having to bad. shut down for now. Well, then, I'll buy that's more. A shame. Yeah, I like, had I, like I known they were in trouble, yeah, yeah Big Daddy IPA is pretty good. I like Big Daddy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm thinking? Like, we should go buy some because now it's going to be worth money or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bootleg it, like back in the Prohibition days. Like, <laughs> don't right. they have a drink called Prohibition? I Speak think so, easy. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, that, oh, my God. That's sad to hear. Maybe we can go get some and, and try it on their behalf. Had I known they were in trouble, I'd have bought a few more of their yeah, beers. You no kidding, right? Something. Yeah. So. It's just one you, I think you take for, for granted now. Like, you know, now it's like Yeah, because they've been by. around, I think, since like 97 it was. Mm-hmm. And like you see them all the time at, at like Total Wine or BevMo or whatever. Yeah. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I've had it, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on. Correct. And you kind of forget like, ah, oh, it's pretty good stuff. You know, and I, I want to say that that's kind of the dangerous thing about craft beer is when you, people say start getting into that had it had it had it and it's like well you had it but it was good right yeah, did you, you like it or not yeah should you buy it again but it's like we get into very like i haven't tra- tried this right let me buy it and test it out or you know what i mean well it part of that's very... us being douchey but the other part Correct. is there's just so many new craft beers to try that's it's right like, i want to try new things i want to try new things and then when i've tried everything i'll go back it's like i'm never gonna try everything you're not and that's right. the danger i think yeah that, that maybe speakeasy kind of, yeah. kind of fell into yeah, is that, so, yeah. but i mean if if these craft beer companies that are struggling if they let me know i'll go buy more of your beer hey, yeah. we're here to help me, man yeah hey. man let me know we are here yeah, to i help. didn't know they give me a heads up yeah exactly i would have bought a 12 right now hell yeah i did we all would have bought a 12 that's right Oh, hey, Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> you I me, said, that's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> you owe me some Coke. True. Um, if you guys are up in Northern California, on April 15th, there's an IPA 10K. Okay. It's in Sebastopol, California. 10K? Yeah. So you, when you're running the... Uh, the, the, the like they give you beer and the, stuff. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. It sounds awful. <laughs> I know. It sounds like yeah, sound beer vomit for sure. Man. Yeah. Now, beer after a run is fantastic. Yes. Beer mid run. You know what I did okay. one time? I, I got drunk and went on a trampoline. Ooh. That was oh, a wow. bad idea. No, oh, yeah. wow. Oh, that's bad. That's so bad. Man. I just think it'd be kind of funny to, you know, give the beer out during the run and then you see who finally actually makes it over the finish line. It's <laughs> kind of staggering. <laughs> that's like, true. Oh. In well, that case, let's do a shot. Well, yeah, slipping over the vomit. What's crazy else. about that is beer is a dehydrant, and you like your yeah, body needs man. like water, you know, because it's sweating. So you're like drying it out further with beer. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna cramp up like O'Brien. <laughs> you know oh I mean? no, not <laughs> that. Yeah, you have to take a time out in the finals. Oh and, uh, no, you know, oh man, carried him off and everything. No kidding. Uh, speaking of Boston, wow, a lot of Boston today. Oh man, yeah. yeah. InBev, aka Anheuser Bush. Kyle. Yeah, more Boston news for you, buddy. Yeah, no, no more baseball though. No. Uh, <laughs> Anheuser Busch, InBev has uh, threatened to pull the sponsorship of South Boston's St. Patrick's Day parade coming Ooh. up uh, because they won't let some gay groups into the parade. Oh, and wow. Anheuser Busch finally taking a good stand. Yeah, saying like, hey, yeah. you're not going to let the gays in. Uh, we're not going to give you That's our sponsorship. Right. Oh, yeah, that hurts. Yeah, and it's it's uh it's gay vet- LGBT veterans group that. Oh. To come in and let the gays in, man. Let them let party, them dude. Yeah. yeah, everyone wants to get drunk. First of all, you let the gays in, it's gonna be a much a oh. more happening party. Yeah, and be like a much better decorated party. That's true. Yeah, the gays should be allowed to every party. <laughs> I, I don't know why the yeah. Bostonians are so anti-gay. We don't like them quiz. <laughs> <laughs> it's beer sacks. It. Does, I mean, you know, hey, it's not that good, but. Letting no, the gays in could sometimes be a pain in the ass, but uh, let him in anyway. Uh, yes. uh, that's about as good as Kyle's joke. Oh, no. That wasn't that bad, was it? Uh, roll AIDS. Wow. Uh, okay. And then finally, and I know we've gone long, but uh, had so much to talk about. 
Booze League, boozeleague.com, oh. had a great article up, and it was uh, different uh, toasts you can make on St. Patrick's Day. And St. Patrick's Day is coming up. It's our it favorite is. holiday of the year. Yes. Uh, so I'll just I'll go through a few of them. Uh, here's to lobster tail and beer, three of my favorite things. Get it? Lobster, comma, tail. <laughs> Got it. Here's to women, beer, and song. May none of them be flat. Uh-huh. People may talk about our drinking, but never about our thirst. Uh-huh. To your genitalia, may they never fail you or jail you. <laughs> oh. May you die in bed at 95, <laughs> shot by a jealous spouse. <laughs> may misfortune follow you the rest of your life and never catch up. It is better to spend money like there's no tomorrow than to spend tonight like there's no money. Yeah. To the nights we'll never remember and the friends we'll never forget. Mm. <laughs> to our wives and girlfriends, may they never meet. <laughs> I like one that my, one. one of my favorites. Uh, may the best of our past be the worst of our future. To all the kisses I've snatched and vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it, people. Here's, a lo- here's to a long life and a merry one, a quick death and an easy one, a pretty girl and an honest one, a cold pint, and another one. Woo! Yeah. Should I remember that after six beers? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a, 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 a cold <laughs> one and a drink with one. <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> Wise, kind, gentle, generous, sexy. But enough about me. Here's to you. There you go. <laughs> I drink to your health when I'm with you. I drink to your health when I'm alone. I drink to your health so often, I'm starting to worry about my own. <laughs> mm-hmm. And finally, I love to sing and I love to drink, but most people like to hear me drink. There you go. There, there's some uh, some toasts you can make that at St. Funny. Patrick's Day on this Friday. And uh, if you're listening after Friday, well, you missed out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, hey, man. You had some great uh, stuff to say. In yeah, I know. Fluid. I think if any podcast should be listened to before St. Patrick's Day, it should be this one. Hello. Absolutely. There you go. Hello. There you yeah. go. That's what we yeah. talk about is beer. Yeah. We should be like the sponsor of St. Patrick's Day. I agree. I agree. Let's Live make, podcast. It shall be done. From Boston. <laughs> all the queer haters. Yeah. <laughs> Your beer tastes like shit. <laughs> I don't know what the shit was. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Shit. <laughs> I hate your beer. Uh, beer anyways. tastes like crap. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, thank you all for listening, for telling a friend. I have to tell you, next week's going to be a good show. Uh, we're going to play a, a rousing first round of what does dan know oh, wow i'm, I'm excited. so excited for i this. am I excited <laughs> <laughs> it's magical yeah. <laughs> uh, so hang on to your butts for that one uh so much next week to talk about can't wait for you guys to join us keep listening keep telling a friend we much appreciate it in the meantime you can tell us check us out at uh, the unfiltered 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 gentleman.com <laughs> Unfiltered. Unfiltered. Uh, and if you need to uh, listen to us, just the unfilteredgentleman.com slash listen. You can find all the ways to listen if you don't have one already. We're on Twitter at Unfiltered Gents, Instagram, the Unfiltered Gentleman, of course, Facebook, Unfiltered Gentleman. And uh, leave us a drunk voicemail on St. Yeah. Patrick's hey, Day. Why oh, not? Please. Great. Please. 805 538 Beer. It's 2337. 805 538 2337. Put that in your phone. We want your drunk voicemails from yes. St. Patrick's Day. Please. Yeah. Hey, I got married on St. Patrick's Day, so tell me how stupid I am. Oh. <laughs> the St. Patrick's Day part or the married part? Bo- uh, uh, okay. Married, of course. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, check us all out. Keep on listening and telling a friend. And on that note, good night, everybody. 